Hello, everyone. I'm Ukrainian. I'm Natalia Malachkova from Vinitsa, uh, but I decided that my today presentation will be English. It's an incredible experience for me, and it's my challenge. And I make it today for my students and for everyone who don't believe that he can speak English or other foreign languages. I'm nervous, and please support me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Uh, please compare it these next pictures. These pictures are so different, but they show how our society has changed, don't they? They show how we used to spend our time compared to the way we spend it now. How our visual environment changed. We stopped looking to the long distances, as we are not looking for the enemy who can attack us from the mountains. We don't admire the blue sky that much, because everything is so close, literally at the tip of our fingers. We and how we live now is a result of our development of civilization. Computers, smartphones, tablets have changed our life dramatically. And to be honest, sometimes we depend from the availability of these gadgets than they used during the day. Sometimes we lost our sense of reality when we dive in the virtual world of Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and cetera. We have been living this way long enough and that we don't even realize that such example for our kids Whenever we need to feed a child or simply keep them quiet, we give him or her smartphone or tablets and keep them entertained. Parents tend to think that they are doing right things to buy the newest and most expensive smartphone to their child. But later, they get angry because his child constantly playing games on the smartphones and preferring online communication to the speaking this their parents. Raise your hand, those of you who have a children. Oh, very nice. And keep them raised, those of you who have a children, wonder kind, meaning the kind who can use all of the gadgets. Yeah, really. And don't drop your hand. Those of you who specifically taught children to use the remote control from the TV, to turn on on the computer, to download games and applications of smartphone, it seems that our children are born with this knowledge, right? I am ophthalmologist. And I have been studying the state of vision of children more than 15 years. And I can note that the number of people who wear glasses year by year increasing not only in our countries. On these slides, there are the results of ophthalmological observation only from one clinic, one clinic from Vinica on the two latest year. I can accurately say that today the number of children who go to school and have the worst vision is more higher than before. In the primary school, average 30% of children have the problem of their eyesight. Parents are usually looking for the reason because that says bad eyesight in children. And okay, let's try to found it together. How long your children stay outdoors every day? Less one hours, I would say. And just way to school and back home. How many hours do they sleep every day? 
normally seven, while a norm nine hours, take into account their higher workloads. How many hours do they spend in school studying? When the brain and the nervous system work to exhaustion. So the organism that only start to develop them have two times less times for recovery compared to the working hours. Maybe this is a one of the reasons of different psychological surveys from the among our adolescents. Because the organ of vision is the one part of the nervous of system. And it is precisely when it is observed um, then the first problems with the organ of vision begin. What is the problem? It's decreasing of visual equity, visual fatigue, headache, and so on. Often, the first diagnosis that the parents hear likes is spasm on week of accommodation. Today, the most common ophthalmological diagnosis among this now children is a myopia. With such a diagnosis, people uh, see well on the near distance, distance close, and have a problem of the distance view. In myopia, there are irreversible changes of the structure of the eye, and the hope of the parents that their children will grow up and the future will have the normal vision is unfortunately useless. Myopia can be congenital and nothing can change it. Acquired as a result of our modern life, mentioned at the beginning of my TEDx talk. But extremely important to know that there is a hereditary or genetically determined form of myopia. Modern methods of ophthalmological examination give opportunity to make a diagnosis, to control the progression of these diseases, to offer the correction, but there are two questions parent wanted answered. Can be myopia be a cure? Ophthalmologists all of the world will give the same answer, no. Today's world, there is no treatment of myopia. There are no pills, no vitamins, anything can be cured this pathological radically. The second thing parents want to know, will the disease progress? In terms of this question, science is gradually making progress. They found some genetic markers which testify the possibility of active progress of myopia. Such studies have been conducted in Asian countries where there are a lot of people with myopia. And further, in Dinitsa Pirogov National Memorial Medical University, also, such as a research was for residents from Podilia region. The fibrous uh, sheet of the eye is a connective tissue. The main component of this, of which is collagen, sclera consists of 90% from the fibrous tissue. Progressive myopia is characterized by an increase of eyeball or actual size. This is due to a fact of intraocular pressure on the weakened sclera. It is believed that changes in collagen play a key role of the progression of myopia. That is why we are interested in it. To verify the diagnosis of myopia, we use the all of the modern methodics observation in ophthalmology now and combined with biomolecular ones. Genotyping of the first type of collagen COL1A1 genes and transforming growth factor T1 
TGF beta 1 was performed on the polymorphism of the genes. We found that the association of polymorphism does not have collagen with the development of myopia. As opposite TGF beta 1, there is a strong association with a higher degree of myopia. The bottom line is that collagen is a structural protein and it is not altered. And the transforming growth factor is a functional and has an effect on the intrafabular ligaments of collagen fibers. Imagine being able to receive information about your baby's risk of development of myopia and potential changes in the other organ system only after the one scrap from the mucous membrane of the child's cheek. What would have seemed unusual and real and fantastic yesterday, now quite common and easily implementable. Science is making progress. Doctors learning new methods of diagnostic, new techniques, and are expecting potential new methods for treatment people with short-sightedness, with genetic engineering. Do you think it's impossible? I'm sure it's possible in the not too distant future. Thank you so much.